Hello, and welcome to Planting Trees and Shrubs, a presentation provided by the Chicago Region Trees Initiative and the Plant Clinic at the Morton Arboretum. Section 1, Before You Plant. There are some considerations to look at before planting your tree or shrub to ensure the best quality of care for the plant. Allow enough space. One should learn the mature dimensions of the tree and select a location with enough space. Remember to check for overhead power lines and call Julie at 811 for any underground utilities that might interfere with the growth of the tree or might be affected by the tree's root growth. If the soil is wet, wait. Digging in wet soil can damage the soil structure, making it difficult for roots to grow. If the soil is saturated, wait for it to drain until it is just moist to plant the tree. Section two, prepare the planting site and tree. After ensuring the area is appropriate size and water wise, the site and tree need to be readied for planting. Measure the root ball and digging area. The planting hole should be two times the width of the root ball. The depth should be the height from the bottom of the root ball to the root flare, the area where the trunk meets the roots. If the root flare is buried within the root ball, clear the soil carefully around the trunk to find it. Container and casing removal. Ball and burlap. When planting a ball and burlap tree, place the root ball on a tarp or in the planting hole if the hole has already been dug before cutting away the burlap as much as possible. Container and casing removal. Container trees. When planting a tree that's already in a container, remove the tree from the container and remove dead or injured roots using sharp pruners. Ensure to remove all pieces of plastic or other material. Container or casing removal. Wire baskets. If the tree or shrub is in a wire basket, remove as much of the wire as possible using wire cutters. Even though some roots may be growing between the wires, if left, wire baskets can eventually cause root injury by constricting the roots when they grow larger than the space between the wires. Root trimming. Container trees can have root defects due to their contained growth space. After removal, shave a one inch layer from around the root ball with a knife so that new roots will spread away from the trunk once planted. Section three, planting the tree. Once the planting site and tree or shrub are ready, it's time to get it into the ground. Dig a wide and shallow hole. When digging the planting hole, shape the hole like a bowl, not a bucket. Wider holes loosen the soil and reduce root issues in the future. Skim the soil by keeping the shovel at a shallow angle and removing the sod, the top layer of turf, before removing soil on its own. Place the tree. Once removed from the container or casing, Carefully place the tree or shrub in the center of the hole. When moving and adjusting the position of the tree, hold it by the base to protect the roots from being weakened. Don't plant too deep. After placing the tree in the hole, double check that the root flare is at or just above the soil level. Research has shown that planting a tree too deeply slows growth and increases tree mortality. Get it straight and centered. Once the tree is properly placed, walk around the tree to check its position. Correct any leaning by adding or removing soil around or below the root ball. Turn the tree so that the branches point in the direction of desired growth. Backfilling. Place the sod grass down into the hole and then layer the soil on top. Carefully tamp it down enough to stabilize the tree. Beware of over tamping and do not let the soil touch the trunk of the tree. Mulching. Place a four inch layer of mulch two times the width of the root ball around the tree. Remember, do not let the mulch touch the trunk or the root flare. After planting. Once you've planted your tree or shrub, ensure that proper care for it follows consistently after it is planted. Thank you. This is the end of the presentation brought to you by the Chicago Region Trees Initiative. For more information, please visit chicagorti.org. This presentation was also brought to you by the Plant Clinic at the Morton Arboretum. For more information or with any questions about tree or plant care, please call 630-719-2424 or send an email to plantclinic at mortonarb.org.
www.mortonarboretum.org. Thank you from the Morton Arboretum. We hope this presentation provided you with helpful information in proper care of plants and trees, and we hope that it helped you become a better champion of the trees.